Welcome to Electron Online. A lot of us have experienced Stefan Boltzmann's law, Wien's law, and the radiation curves kind of in our everyday lives without maybe even realizing it. For example, some of us have electric stoves at home, and if we do, we, we then know that if we turn a knob and turn it on hot, eventually that metal plate that's there that we put our pots on to cook and to boil water with will begin to glow a reddish glow. In other words, the temperature of that hot plate right there gets so hot that the atoms in there begin to vibrate at such high frequencies that the radiation coming from it actually goes into what we call the visible light spectrum and you can actually see the glow of that if you take, if you then turn the kitchen really dark at night, close all the windows off and turn no lights on and the hot stove, the plate is, hot, is on and it's hot, you can actually see the light coming from that plate. Likewise, if you're a blacksmith and you're working on, let's say, a sword, you put it in the fire, as the, as the sword gets hotter and hotter, eventually the sword will begin to glow at high temperatures. And of course, that's when the blacksmith begins to work the metal. And if we then continue to make it hotter, the color will change from red to orange to yellow, and eventually it will become white hot. That color is usually seen at uh, steel plants. So when you go to a steel plant, and, well, most of us actually don't go to steel plants, but we probably see it on television. And you can see the molten uh, iron or the molten steel coming down from the furnace. It actually doesn't even look red or, or orange. It actually looks white hot. And so we think of a whitish color to steel. And the reason why it looks so hot uh, or it gives off those white colors is because the temperature is reached to the point where almost every color rainbow is being emitted by that that metal that's in a molten state and therefore you put all those colors together you get kind of a white color just like you put all the colors together and you get white light it's almost like a white star isn't it of course they don't get nearly as hot as a white star so therefore it's not pure white it still has the reddish and the orange and the yellowish color in it but you can tell by the coloration change that the object is getting hotter and hotter as you put more and more fire under it so that's a very good example of the relationship between Wien's law temperature and radiation and Stefan Boltzmann's law, an indication of the intensity coming from the object it becomes much brighter, much more intensity of the light coming from it, and also the coloration as the object gets hotter, the color changes as well. So some good examples in everyday life that we might have seen on TV or that we experience in our own homes that are a good example of Wien's law and Stefan Boltzmann's law.